Is RFPs just a numbers game? I would say no, no. I, actually, definitely not. I mean, our, I think that some people think that or people will think, oh my gosh, you know, I can go make $8 million if I just win this one RFP. But it's, it's just a tool in your sales tool, tool belt, right? It's just another way of selling and you can't do it cold. If it's a numbers game and you're going for quanti quantity over quality, you're going to lose. Yeah. 100% of the time. Maybe you'll get lucky, but probably not. Yeah, no, I'm glad that you said that because I think so often people do think that RFPs is just a numbers game and you just have, the more you do them, like one day you're going to hit the jackpot, right? And, and then it'll all be worthwhile. Um, but, but if we dive deeper into that, like what would you say are maybe the most common mistakes that, that consultants and, and those that you work with in the world of RFPs or just that you've seen people make? Like what, what are the, the big errors that, uh, that come up so often? Uh, yeah, great question. I would say that the, the number one biggest mistake is that you don't have a strategy to go with it. You wouldn't, I, I shouldn't say you wouldn't because plenty of companies probably do, but you wouldn't go out into the world and start selling without any sort of a strategy, right? You've got to mm -hmm. have a business development strategy and RFPs fits into that. So you can't, if you bid cold, like I mentioned a little while ago, you have less than a 5% chance of winning. So why would you do that if you didn't have a strategy around who is your target audience, where does your solution best fit, and then start building those relationships? So people think because anybody can get a hold of this RFP and you can just respond to the questions that you have a leg up, but you can't get the content down in a compelling way. Are, all you're going to be doing is answering the questions and you're going to be level set with everybody else. You're gonna be maybe meeting the qualifications and capabilities, but unless you have a strategy that has relationship building in there and you get to know the client and you get to know their hot buttons mm -hmm. and you understand their environment and you understand the competitors and what you have to overcome from a competitive advantage and what your differentiators are, how can you write to any of that if you don't have a strategy around it. So that would right. be the number one thing. And then when it comes to content itself, there's a million things people do wrong. People rarely actually answer the question. It's shocking how often people don't actually answer the question as it was asked, or they don't answer all parts of the question. They, um, they make it all about them instead of the solution that they provide and how that's going to help the client. Mm. Michael, I'm sure that you have that conversation a lot around sales. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about you. So, right. yeah. Yeah. 